FFM, it is Friday, the 31st day of May, the last day in the month of May, and the last day before the weekend. And we are hyped, and it's a heat Friday. Heat, 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 heat. My name is Jones ADZI, and I'm here with Nana Majmai, the FIFA lady. FIFA lady, how are you doing? By God's grace, I'm fine. I mean, that is how far the good Lord has brought Charlie, us. Charlie, 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 thing. Charlie. It's been God. Mm, it, God it, alone. It's, it's, it's a Friday where you don't advise. No, 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 no. Yes. You don't advise people. And then you can't be sad. Fashion weekend. You can't be sad. Fashion Monday. Ka Fashion Monday. Fasha, and they'll advise me, I mean, tea. Yeah. 2% too. Today mm. we are giving 2%. 2%. 2%. Heat, 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 heat. <laughs> and, and we have a lot in stock for our listeners this morning. And um, there's a cross of folk. Yeah. Do you think a cross of folk will go to relegation? <laughs> See, in as much as I really want them to go for relegation. Yeah. It, it will be that I, bad. No, it will be that I, I bad. I want them to go on relegation because of Kumasi and Santo Kotoko. Yeah. But then again, Accra Hatufo can cannot go on relegation. Mm. You know, because like the two, one of the biggest teams in, in Africa. Country, oh, in Africa. In Africa, I'm not too sure. Not oh, come anymore. on. Oh, hey, not anymore. Hey, Heart of folk and please, Kotoko. When you are big, they are big. not the biggest no, team in Africa anymore. No, I mean, one of, one of, one, one of. of. Yeah, no, they no, are. no, 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 no. They are not even in top 100. Please, I beg. Oh, come no, on. No, no, no. Top 100. I, I, ah, no, oh, no, 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 no. No. See, when you are big, you are big. Oh. Hey, why? Where were you when they were there? But they are not anymore. But they are still big clubs. Trust you me. Know? If if you so if you as of all going yeah. on relegation would be a disaster. The Ghana Premier League will not be will not be the same anymore. Yeah. If Accra has to folk should go on relegation. Mm. And I know definitely one of the small team would be will be used for sacrifice for Accra to folk oh, to Charlie, stay in the Ghana Premier League. Charlie, yes. Charlie, Charlie. So so listeners, so, Accra to folk are in action this evening against Nations FC. Accra to folk lie fifteen. With 38 points, and then they are going to uh, take it on Nations FC, who lie fourth with 48 points. Very, very, very impressive season. For yeah, for Nations, Nations FC, FC. Yeah, their, their debut season. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, brilliant. Summer test as well. Now, mm. you know. The big teams, they have I mean, nothing to do we, with on, on Monday, we'll talk about summer techs and then how they are using technology. Right. Yes, I, they, I, they, I, yeah. yes they use technology to track their the performance of their players and all that. They've shown their way. Yeah. And this is where I agree with you that a class of work got to call, no. Oh, they're, they're not the biggest team anymore. Charlie, this, this, this feat by summer techs, they, they, they've invested so much in technology oh, and I it has know, ripped a lot for them. They're just making up the numbers yeah. in the Ghana Premier League, yeah. but they are not the yeah. biggest team anymore. Mm. I mean, I'm a huge Kotoko fan, but, but let's face the truth. It's true. They are it's not true. the biggest it's team true. anymore. And it's Nations true. FC, they have nothing to lose, but a crowd of people would have to be Charlie, Nations FC. we beg. We the beg. relegation yeah. zone. No? Yeah, so, 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 hearts of folk, uh, 15, they are not in the relegation zone, right? Mm -hmm. But then 16 position, great Olympics. They have one game to play. They have one game to play. So Accra of Oak has played a game more than uh, Olympics. Mm -hmm. They have 36 points, has 38. Now 17 position, but for Quartano, um, they've played 31 games. They have 33 points. Real Tamale United, they are, I mean, they are back. Oh, mm, they also won their game the last time, so they have 31 points there. And they also have a game in hand. So it doesn't spell uh, 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 good news for Hearts of folk, but then for me, I know that Charlie. Oh, definitely, no way. No I'm not, and I'm saying that. But you know anything happen? No, no wait. There's more teams. One of them will be used as sacrifice for a crowd. Who will use them? Who? Oh, who? we all know. The Ghana Premier, the goals of the game, they will be used the, as sacrifice. You, you, please, There's no way a crowd of folk is going on relegation. See, see, they won't go. They can go. They can they go. go. But for Qatar, no, you see their debut season. Yeah. And I felt like. Um, they sort of focus on the MTN FA Cup, right? Yeah, and the yeah, yeah, they are in the finals. So they play yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, MTN yeah. FA Cup. And the same thing happened to Dreams FC. When they were playing the configuration, and then we Madras saw that, yes, the yes, 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 yes. So yes. I, I, I think they didn't really pay attention to the Ghana Premier League. That is how come they are there. Mm. But, I mean, definitely. There's, Olympics will not go relegation, though. They won't go. So, well, they won't well, go. we, 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 this thing you are doing there is not fair. It's 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 not fair. But I'm sorry. It's not fair. But then let let's see how the days roll. I mean, there are some few games to go. Three games to go. Three games to go. Officially, three games to go. Great Olympics, Buffalo Quartano, and then Road Tamil United in the relegation zone. And above them, we have Lions who are 13th, Dreams FC 14th, and then Accra of who are 15th. Let's see if a magic would happen. Now talking about teams who would come to the Ghana Premier League. There is a brilliant, brilliant work going on in Vision FC. And uh, we've been speaking to Vision FC, of course. We've we, we seen the good work they are doing. They are playing the Division 1 League. 
they are in zone three and they lead that zone they lead that zone and last time around they played a game with a tram the visa they lost that game there they've had a battle with Hawker united had battles with uh home stars and other teams now god fc but then vision vision fc have stayed on top so let's get to listen to this report on vision fc fc has been one of the well-branded lower division football clubs in the country for years formed in 1999 by the club president Michael Osekre, Vision FC is on the verge of securing a Ghana Premier League spot, leading Zone 3 of the Division League by three points with two rounds of games to end the season. Coached by one of the youngest coaches in Ghana, Hamza Obeng, who joined the club in the middle of last season. The former Heart of Folk deputy coach has guided the team to the top of the table and are close to qualifying for the Premier League after being domiciled in Division I League since the 2015-2016 season. Needing four points out of the remaining two games of the season, Coach Hamza Obeng, speaking to GH1 TV Sports at their training grounds, revealed what Ghana Premier League qualification will mean to him and Vision FC. Uh, first of all, it has been a very difficult season for us. And then, uh, I think the guys... I'm working with uh, the tactical discipline. Uh, all what they have been done at training, hopefully they are able to implement it in the game and they have been helping us from day one to now. So we are just pushing, we are not done yet. So the motive, we have a motive of which we have to achieve. So we are still on course. Well, it will be very special as well. I think it has put me to a certain stage of which uh, I wasn't expecting near. But looking at the work that we did and the guys that we are working, that is the place. I think fantastic. They've done a fantastic job and we are hoping all what we started from day one, we will achieve a good result. Hamza Obeng, who assisted Samuel Buedu to win the Premier League with Accra Hearts of Folk, credited hard work and commitment on the part of players and all stakeholders for the current position of the club. Well, I think we have a marvelous uh, administration. Uh, they are working very well, looking at uh, from the board, board, board of directors to administrators, as well as the management, and then the technical team too. We have a very core technical team of which we understand ourselves, and then we do have a philosophy of which we all understand, and we all use the same philosophy. And then the players that we are working with too, they are also equipped to our system, and then they also understand their philosophy. So, you know, uh, football is all about equipment, and the equipment are the materials that you are using. That's the footballers, the players. They understand our system very well, and then they are able to, I mean, adapt to whatever that we have been. They, they have been taught at training and whenever we are in for a game they are able to implement it of which it has been helping us from day one to now the young coach further heaped praise on the club's president and bank roller michael osekre for the unwavering support and leadership for him he has a vision and that that is the reason why maybe i would say the club is also known as vision from day one he has his own purpose and the vision towards uh, the club he has a lot of motive developmental motive and then helping the guys to, I mean, be in a higher stage. So he also, I mean, looking at his philosophy, I think I was the one who was, uh, who is maybe more or less equipped to his system. So I was the one to be in, uh, in work with him so that things will work together. So for him, he has been fantastic. And as I said, he has a vision and that he wants to achieve that vision. He's not done yet. Captain of the side, Emmanuel Che Bafo, is optimistic of Vision FC's chances of securing Premier League slots in Zone 3. We'll be glad if, if possible, our last match, we are be to be crowned to be the champions. Between me, the teammates around me, and then the group, the backroom staff, and then, then those around us, we'll be very happy. We are be happy to achieve this big thing for us. It, because it, it, it hasn't been easy, because... I cannot say much because um, we have been praying for this opportunity and then gradually we have finally, finally to achieve it. So Vision team anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> Ghanaians, we have this thing of always changing the winning when, coach. When, yes, when, when, when you move forward, yes, exactly, too. exactly, exactly. And it happens a lot in the Division 1. Yeah. A coach will qualify them to the Premier League and, and then, then they'll they, go they, in they, for they, another, another It's coach. about experience, so. But, but, I mean, he has experience now. That is how come he qualified He's been able to. to the Ghana yeah, Premier let's, League. Let's see. Of so, course, see, even company, company that has been relegated, has relegated his team, he has 
a, a Bible you know, so, so Charlie, let's see what happens. Should maintain him. Yeah. It will be good for him to, uh, for me to see him come up against Samuel mm, Brudo, yeah. his former boss, because he's he's currently the coach yeah, for of Brickham Chelsea. Chelsea. So it, it will be good to have them in the Ghana Premier League, and they have been consistent. Consistency is key in everything. Consistency is key. If you are consistent, there's no way you are going to lose. Mm. So I'm, I'm I'm looking forward. to Well, if they win this weekend, they are back. Uh, I mean, the, yeah, it means yeah, they've I'm qualified the for League. the Ghana Premier League. All right, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. My, this song can bring the dead back Spirit to life. Side. This Spirit song, this side. song, this song. The champion. This oh, song. I have a good voice. <laughs> <laughs> this song can make and amend relationships. Hey. This song, Charlie. This song, this Champions League <laughs> song. Oh my goodness! This song has done a lot for boys. And tomorrow, <laughs> Real Madrid are going to Show take on Borussia Dortmund. But listen, listen. Let me say this. Tomorrow's game, it is Real Madrid versus Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich and Barca and then Man City. They're against, no. But then I think tomorrow, um, Real Madrid are going to stand up. What do you think? I'm, I'm for Real Madrid mm. any day. There's no way Don Carlo. Ah. Don Carlo. Charlie, There's Charlie, no Charlie, way he's Charlie, losing. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Right. There's no way he's losing. Mm. Like, I'm really, really, really looking for Especially when last season, they almost came close yeah. and lost it to Manchester Madrid, City. yes. Uh, yeah. Manchester, yeah, yeah. So, Don't Real Madrid um, bagged the majority of the wins. So, ever since its inception in 1955, only 22 football clubs have managed to win the Champions League. Out of which, Real Madrid have won the cup 14 times, making it the highest number of wins in the Champions League. The football club is currently... Um, in the finals to actually get it the 15th time Whoa. and uh, well let's see how they will do that now don't forget that champions league is supported by the uefa foundation for children and now another fact is that english clubs have managed to win the champions league five times so uh, i mean five cups the european champions league is dominated by english clubs snagging wins after wins around five english clubs have managed to win the champions league they include Liverpool, Manchester United, Nottingham Forest, Aston Villa, and then Chelsea. They have won the League 6, 3, 2, 1, and then 1 trophy, respectively. And English clubs, another interesting fact that English clubs were banned from playing for five years. Oh. So, yes, from the year 1986 to 1991, the English clubs were banned from playing in the Champions League following the disaster that happened at the Hessel Stadium. The day was declared... A dark day in football where 600 people were injured and 39 deaths were confirmed. The incident happened when a group of Liverpool fans attacked Juventus fans, breaking down the barriers between the groups that later resulted in a war collapsing and causing casualties. In retaliation, the English clubs were banned for the coming five years and the individuals who caused the incident had to serve jail time. And finally, the fastest goal in the tournament happened in the first 11 seconds so roy mckay a popular footballer from Bayern Munich, managed to create the record scoring the match's first goal within the first 11 seconds against real madrid guess what madrid haven't lost a champions league final since 1981 winning eight times since then dortmund have only won the champions league once in 1997 when ottman hetzfeld team beat juventus in munich their only other appearance at the final ended in a defeat 
against Bayern in Wembley in 2013. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. he's still going to be one for Dortmund. And, 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 yes, yeah. because um, Real Madrid will be winning tomorrow. Well, I mean, they have everything. They have the players. Mm. I mean, Bellingham has been Bellingham has been impressive. Yeah, yeah. Vinicius. Uh, Bellingham is playing his former his former team. You know, and and he will score against Dortmund tomorrow. You think so? Yeah. Well, well, well. So Dortmund has three wins <laughs> and. They've, they've seen five draws in that game. And then Real Madrid has won six and 19 goals for Dortmund and 24 for Real Madrid there. So, the last time Liverpool, um, Real Madrid lost a game was to Liverpool. And that was in 1981. So, you don't see Real Madrid losing tomorrow. At all. Well, at all. At let's, all. See, let's see how that goes. Uh, we wish them all the best. I have a feeling... Is Next season will be the last season for Don Carlo. Mm. So, he would want well, to Well, he, he actually came out to say that Real Madrid will be his last club. You know, so yeah, so he, would, he probably he, want to win this. he would want to win Don this. Want to, and Tony Cruz would be playing his final yeah. match for his club. There's more reason why they are winning. But Charlie, you see, it's football. Anything can happen. Yeah, Anything you can happen. happen with Manchester City and Manchester yeah. United. Who yeah. would have thought that Manchester yeah. United would beat Man City? But what, what, are, what are you trying to say? Oh, please. What are you trying Everybody to say? Please don't Manchester disrespect City United. We, we, we they brought the 11 Cup. players. We brought 11 players. But uh, tomorrow, the football goes will speak for Real Madrid. Well, I, I, I'm in the Madrid GC right now, and yeah. I'm supporting Real Madrid. Of Same course, man. I'm a United fan. The Barca fans, the uh, Madrid. So people are supporting Dortmund. Yes, of course. Against. Barca fans are supporting Dortmund. Oh. Man City fans are supporting Dortmund. Bayern Munich fans are supporting Against Dortmund. Against Babo. Emfa. Emfa. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Jones ADZI. And we're outside right on Star 103.5 FM. The morning show.